Wait, I just have to tell you now. It's okay, it's not like private. Um, okay, basically, for your birthday, I'm taking you to Paris from the 15th till the 18th. What? I'm taking you to Paris from the 15th till the 18th, but you just messaged me, obviously, you said your interview's on the 18th, so, oh, no. yeah. I emailed them back to say I can go as well. Yeah. What time is it? 2.40 p.m. Well, You're I... can me to Paris? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Floss. I got us a really nice hotel book for the weekend. Oh, my God. And we leave on Friday morning and supposed to be coming back on Monday. Oh, my God. <laughs> You've glitched, your face has gone really funny. I'm sorry, it's all been spoiled and I was really excited to be able to tell you. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know what you want to do now. But yeah, happy birthday anyway. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. I'm a knee. Hello everybody and welcome to the start of hopefully many more. Actually no, I'll probably just all put it in. Probably just put it all in one. Paris vlog. Basically a lot of people will be like, whoa, what are you doing in Paris? Uh, I've only ever been to Paris like twice. One time was Disneyland, which... Oh no, no, no. And then the second time was a few years ago. But basically my birthday was on the 5th of February and William's birthday was on the 11th. And I wanted to do something really nice, something really special for his birthday and the 11th near Valentine's Day. Hmm. We are in the most beautiful, most amazing hotel ever. In fact, I'll give you a little tour. The name of the hotel is Hotel Dress Code. It's in such a good, such a central location in Paris. And I'll take you on a little tour. Oh, it's so messy. I should have filmed it when it was all night. Okay. Ash, oh God. You walk in through the door, you see the little mini bar area. It's literally about five dollars, five euros for a thing of water, which is quite disgusting. <laughs> You already know these gummy bears be tempting me. We've got a little wardrobe area and then the bed, which is so beautiful. A beautiful William. He's had his hair cut. It looks excellent. It was so much nicer when we came in, but obviously we've like trashed it all. There's a little area over here where you can do your makeup or whatever. How cute is this too? They're pens and lipsticks. And then as you come... Oh, I don't know how to open this. Outside, we've actually got our own little balcony. William's very excited for the French vino. Um, Can't relate. There's a photo of some boss ass ladies going to get their jambon au fromage in the morning. Then you come in here to the bathroom, which is so cool. That dodgy fake tan is not cool though. Got two dressing gowns. I love the way it all matches, like the orange and the orange. These are so cute. Replica is such a nice brand too, and it actually says Florence on it. Almost as though. It was meant to be. It's so out of focus. And then you've got a little sink. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't like these close-up mirrors. Far too much detail. They make me look really hairy though. Yeah, they make my face look really hairy. <laughs> <laughs> Excited? Yeah. What do you want to do tonight? Tour de Fell. Tour de Fell. Tour de Fell. <laughs> hot dog with some cheese because we went to this restaurant to like it's the Eiffel Tower right behind us <laughs> went to this restaurant and I was not hungry in the slightest sure yeah of course so basically we'll just take a photo for a lady this is nice so I didn't want to eat anything and they wouldn't let us eat there because I didn't want to eat anything love that I felt so bad but Will was like no it's fine so he just came to get a hot dog this is really not interesting yeah, you walk into Paris. Here's a little downstairs of our hotel. <laughs> How beautiful is this? And look over here. Look at that wall. Oh my god. Oh, uh, you can hear you having a wee. <laughs> he does this thing all the time where he fills a cup up with water. Just keeps doing it. <laughs> I'm pouring it in the toilet. 
donuts. It sounds like he's like having his endless way. That's sweet sample, by the way. I get out of the shower to see this. Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at. No, Did you all hear drinking wine and cheese and ham? I've got sweets and iced tea. <laughs> Just come down to breakfast. I've already started eating, so I have no self control. But I got like the most amazing little spread. I've made like a little, I made a little like sandwich, sun dried tomato and mozzarella. Will's got all his yummies and eggs and stuff. Okay, go. 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 Say something. We're going out today. We're gonna go to an art gallery and we're gonna go to. I actually really know. I'll kind of just left it down to Will to decide. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a who. I can literally hardly see. Look how beautiful, Will. Will's just banging on about Dr. Seuss. As always. These two bucks. Right, the guy has been following the girl for ages, and I called it and said to Will, definitely trying it on with her. He just like mounted her, dunked her underwater, and started getting it on. Oh my gosh, but he's following her everywhere. He's like all obsessed with her. Look, Will. Will, look at her. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, maybe she's into it too. There are loads of police about today. I can't figure out why. <laughs> Uh, c'est le flossy. <laughs> uh, quel est le... Oui, oui, oui. The waiter called me princess. C'est le zebra crossing. Will calls me flossy. Oh, doubling. C'est le dog. C'est le chien. Oui, oui, monsieur. This is the plug on holiday. Smile. For me. Proper smile. That is a proper smile. <laughs> I think this is so beautiful and definitely one of my favourite things I've seen today. This boy hates it when I slap his bum. Just one of those days! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and an ice cream. Got a Haribo one. Got Haribo's in the bottom. I quite like the Kinder Bueno one, but the man didn't have any. Don't know why you'd advertise ice cream because you don't have, but it's not my business. <laughs> You're looking very blue. I've been getting a few looks today. Can't tell if they're negative, positive. Also don't care. Will actually got me this for my birthday. It's just my 18th birthday present. Just thank Smashing. you Will as well as the <laughs> Here we have William in a French supermarket and we are on a hunt. Well, he's on a hunt for beer. I'm on a hunt for iced tea. I don't really think that iced tea is going to be in the beer section, huh? Oh. Foreign food makes me so excited. <gasps> you got peach oasis. <gasps> oh, the iced tea. Iced tea. <gasps> they got peachy iced tea there. Well, should I try some peachy oasis? Because oasis is my favorite drink ever. What is this? Peach apricot. Mm, I think I'm just going to stick to the good old cheap shit. We were going through the supermarket and we were looking at the cheeses and found the fattest baby bow. Look at the size of that. It was becoming quite the Quite the vlogger. <laughs> that is cool. No, it doesn't. You do it. We've already been walking uphill for about 40 minutes. This set of stairs. Oh my god, it doesn't even show how busty it is. It's literally gonna kill me. We've come to Montmartre, which is a really nice part of Paris and also really sketchy. It's got loads of adult shops, if you know what I mean. Honestly, we've been doing about like 25,000 steps a day. I better have a Kim K booty at the end of this or Paris. I'm suing. Jinxed it, because there's even more. <laughs> My man on the aux cable. No? Okay, just me. Come to a restaurant. Little story time. We were outside of Montmartre, and there was this group of people there, and I saw a couple girls look at me, but I thought, I've been getting some funny looks. I've been in a baby suit, boiler suit all day, so maybe they were just looking because of that. And then we carried on walking around, and then they kept looking back, and Will turned to me and was like, they recognize you, they know who you are, and I was like, <laughs> If you ever see me in public, I would always much rather you just come up and say hi. I understand like when I see someone that I recognise, I just look at them and I'm too scared to go and say hi. But um, it was so awkward and so embarrassing. 
because they just kept looking back for ages and it just it's like imagine you were out in public and someone just kept looking at you it's kind of thinking is it because they know who i am is there something like on my face or something so we're walking down the street and one girl comes up to me and goes are you roxy and i'm like no and i merci she goes are you roxy and i'm like no as in like she was like roxaurus and i was like oh my god no i'm not and i went no i'm flossy and she was like yeah 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 flossy that's what i mean that's what i mean and i was like that's not what you mean you mean i'm my roxaurus so then all her this all her like friends come around and they're just stood there they don't say anything and i'm like Hi. one of the girls goes oh she's a youtuber and she goes you're flossy and she like knew who i was i guess and then like all her guy friends come around and they're like who are you and me and will had just stood there and literally felt so awkward i wanted to look around and swallow me up <laughs> will keeps taking sips of his beard off the camera up for his beer <laughs> i felt so awkward and the guys they were kind of i don't want to say they were rude but they kind of were rude i just think it's like quite rude to be like who are you and it's like i'm not just going to turn around and be like uh, i'm a youtuber do you know what i mean but obviously they were like why are you why are these people crowding around you so they just kind of stood there and didn't really say a lot which like, i understand like i'd probably be like nervous talking to someone i don't know but yeah it was just quite a funny story i was not expecting to meet anyone in paris and they were actually they were on like an exchange trip from up north somewhere so yeah this drink cost me nine euro it's iced tea they're like rubbery yeah, it doesn't look so that big we've got the this massive baby bell it's so satisfying oh especially on a large scale did you ever used to put it on your nose like a little koala nose i used to eat it what It's monumental. How the hell are we gonna meet them? I know, we've got a day as well. Thanks. It tastes a bit like normal baby bell. Let's have a big old bite. That wasn't a big bite. You can do bigger. I thought that I was dreaming when you Guess said you loved me. <laughs> Start of nothing. Sponsored by Lipton. Nice to you. Oh my god, I can hardly see. Well, we're on the way to Mar 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 no. Marais. 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 So we're walking through Paris. It's a really sunny, beautiful day. We actually left quite a while ago, but I forgot to vlog. But we ended up going back to the hotel anyway because I forgot my bank card. Yeah, it looks great. Is it good? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do. Oh, I just stood on a snail. I just stood on a snail. My top is from Nasty Girl. My trousers are from Nasty Girl. My bag is from Topshop. My shoes are Nike Technos and they're two months out of me. Yay. So we've just come to this beautiful little cafe. Oh, this is beautiful. Me, 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 me. The one next to us. He's so cute. Something that really triggers me about Paris is the fact that everywhere you go, your drink is like 10 euro. Do it really gotta be that expensive to stay hydrated? Probably not allowed to film in here. But we're here in the mothership. Are you happy to be here? Yeah. <laughs> Just bought a couple of bits in Sephora. We just got some churros and Will had never tried churros before. So what do you think for them? I'm pretty We just got to, is it Centre Pompidou? Centre Pompidou. Centre Pompidou. Um, mais le line est... Largo. Largo? Longo. <laughs> Longo. So we're sacking this off and we're gonna go to the... When someone's way. We're gonna go to the Picasso. Museum. Or I don't hate me now. But we both know that deep down, the feeling still deep down is good. And we are here. I've been so excited to go to this place. I've had so many good things. So our burgers have just come. How are the wedges? Good. We're going to do a little unboxing. Unboxing? It's a burger. How excellent does that look? Oh wow. Sensational. Basically, Hank Burger is like a vegan burger restaurant. So all their burgers vegan, obviously.
How are we feeling? Hot. Hot. I like your top. Thank you. As we got back to the hotel room. Stop zooming. <laughs> it's not funny. Because it's not funny. I've been sleeping because I have a problem. And then Will's been doing some stuff because he's got a very important issue. Oh, I've eaten my body weight in sweets. Ah! <laughs> what? 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 I stubbed my toes so hard. Ow. My laptop. Yeah, I think I snapped my fucking toenail. No, just stop it. I'm gonna stop it. <laughs> How do I <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Bitch. <laughs> oh dear. Will's just Six talking feet to feet. an Addison Lee driver. I just posted a photo on my Instagram. Uh, Slate School of Fine Art. <laughs> yeah. We actually see it. Eh? It's on Gower Street. MG, some of MG dude. <laughs> you know, you know. Uh, Will Bunker. <laughs> bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, bird. <laughs>